Hello everyone, this is ASMR Studio welcoming you to my new Photoshop tutorial and today I will show you this type of indoor portrait photography. That means you can take this type of photograph on a just a, like coffee house or your window side in your home. So it could be. So today I will show you how to edit this type of photo and if you are new in my channel please do subscribe and hit the bell icon. So let's start the tutorial. At first I will do the skin retouch of the face and then I will add the extra light effect in this photography. At first make copy by pressing ctrl J and then go to the filter and the photo toolbox and skin finer. This one is a plugins of the skin retouching so if you need to get this skin finer and if you want to know more about the skin finer please check out my video description so here uh, the two portion the skin detailing and the skin tone skin detailing if i zoom it in from here yeah skin detail yeah the how smooth and amount of smoothing and fining this one i won't do too much fine yeah i'll make it minus 23 and uh, it will give you the texture if you make it minus 23 or 26 so that's fine and difference between the two pictures the before one and after one you're getting and then i'll just zoom it out and here the brightness and the contrast so from here the tone of the face i'll make the tone like this type of tone and yeah that's fine and the saturation I'll decrease the saturation and a little bit the tone should be like this yeah this type of tone that's the good tone and the saturation that is good and brightness I'll make the brightness like that so that's fine and the shadow I'll make the shadow like that and hit ok it will take time to load it up and give you the output so let's wait about that yeah that's fine and then i'll adjust the shadow and highlighting for that i'll make two copy of this layer and one is for the shadow and another one is for highlighting so turn off the shadow layer and select the highlight layer go to the blending mode and make it a screen right press and blending options from here the underlining option find out the highlighted area of the face press the order button divide this one and adjust the light to the face yeah that's good and hit ok mask it and go to the image and apply image and hit the ok button and then turn on the shadow options go to the blending mode and make it multiply right press blending options and underlining layer from here find out the shadow of the face press the alter and divide the slider and adjust the shadow in the face and hit ok and then again mask it and image and apply image in this case make it invert and hit ok so these two layer i'll select and group it make it mask and go to the image and the apply image uncheck the invert option and hit ok and the before one and after one shadow and highlight prominently in a face and then just go to the file and place embedded options and here i downloaded the bokeh and i'll give you that bokeh download link and make it bigger and i'll choose this portion and then go to the blending mode and make it a screen and make it like that press ctrl t and you can make it flip horizontally and adjust the light the face that's fine so that's good and go to the adjustment layer and from the levels options adjust the light yeah that's good and here go to the adjustment layer and go to the brightness and contrast and just mask it and the brightness I'll increase the brightness only the light brightness so that's good so this one is the overall of the photo and this one is only for the light not affecting the other so after that select these three things make it group and make it merge after that go to the filter and the camera filter from camera filter i'll add another lights or other stuffs 
actually the fx from here go to the camera calibrations from here i'll make the color like this and primary blue color primary green color the primary red color i'll increase the red color like that so from here i'll increase the blue and from the basic panel i'll decrease the highlight of the all overall photo and from the hsl panel luminance i'll increase the orange luminance and the yellow luminance so from here and the tone curve i'll go to the rgb tone curve and select and locked it and i'll make it like this so that's good so i make it like this type of sharpening amount of sharpening i'll increase and luminance of noise reduction i'll increase and that's good and i'll save these preset for you guys and giving the name the light and hit the ok button so it's taking time let's see the before one and after one and then i'll go to the filter again and nick collections and color fix pro 4 this one is uh, another plugins if you need to download these plugins please check out my video description and it's loading time depends on your pc configuration cross processing and from here methods lots of methods you can use one of them so i have to select from here l03 i'll use it and hit the ok button it will take time to load it up and give you the output so let's wait about that and now i'll in decrease the fill options so let's see the before one the normal image and you are getting after one the ordinary image with the light effect and other stuffs so thank you so much thanks for watching my video tutorial if you have any kind of question query request please do comment on my video comment section and if you need to download the preset and other stuffs please check out my video description and until the next video i am a7 is signing out today bye bye